Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha by Omega and Ukraine. So, in the last episode that I recorded right before this one, we started an offensive against the city of Kaminis. And hopefully today we are going to be able to finish it. But before we go to that, I actually thought through and through about what we can do here. And I kind of don't know. <laughs> that's that's not a good thing when a Let's Player don't know what he wants to do. But the situation is so complicated and it's such a stalemate that I could just be content with uh, not pushing through. You know, just controlling some of the territory and holding it uh, through and through. But what I think we're going to do here is we're going to continue in helping our ally here uh, build, by building some more factories. Uh, we're actually building some. Haha, -ha, interesting. I thought that we might have finished them already. Okay, no, we have one more in Benghazi. So once that one is done, I'm gonna shuttle two more uh, civilian factories to be built in uh, Sinanaika and in Benghazi. And then once this battle is over, we are going to reform our unit into an army corps. Now, this is a bit iffy, but from what I... I specifically looked this up before I went to record this episode. And what an army corps is, is usually, of course, two plus divisions. Now, as we cannot have two divisions here, but the way the organization works here are a bit iffy. I look at how much a division is, and a division is usually two to four brigades, and each brigade is three to eight battalions. Meaning, in the end, that an army corps would be roughly 20 battalions. Now, we have 15 here, and we are going to support that with additional battalions after this uh, battle of tanks. And we are going to hope that this is going to be enough to make the difference. And I'm going to um, change this from mechanized uh, brigade elite to a mechanized army corps. And we're going to have it as a specific or specialized unit that we're going to hope can make this. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of ifs and ones here. So let's see how this battle is going to go. And we are losing this defensive battle, which we can't. That is bad, guys. You need you need to help us here. Or you need to help us here. If we can actually push this through, I will abandon this, this in favor of finishing this attack. Come on. Come on, we can do it. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. This defense is kind of meaningless if we won't be able to take this. Are they reinforcing here? I'm hoping they are not. Because if they're not, then we're taking the city. No, they did! Ah. They did, and with an elite unit. So this attack is lost. Let us just repel this, and maybe we can then rejoin the attack. Okay, we finished the next level of counterintelligence. Hold on, let's uh, let's look at this a bit more uh, logically. So we have five more factories available now. Can we at least... Uh, yes, we can at least industrial capacities, which will give us additional three factories. So now we're working at three projects, 15, 15, and 2, maybe? Free. Okay. And Jesus Christ, please tell me that now we're not going to be able to defend this. We have, what, 3.5? These guys are going to get knocked off and we're going to repel these. So hopefully that... Yeah, okay. So we manage this. But we actually need to continue here with the attack. And yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're going to try this again. So what? how could we reform this brigade into an elite army corps here? So what could we do with them? Uh, so let's look, look at what we have. We actually have 117 IFVs here, but those are super old. So what we could do here is we could utilize main battle tanks. We got some of the T-72s that were phased out. Those are pretty strong. Defense Breakthrough is 22, which would be amazing for any kind of attack. Or, and that is quite risky, but we could utilize our rocket artillery. Now, we have almost none. 
but the breakthrough is 17 and the tornado has 23 defense 34 soft attack 41 hard attack 15 we are mostly facing here what are you you're mostly soft okay so we're facing motorized infantry so soft attack is a bit more important than heavy attack so what i envision here is effectively something like this So what would this do with our attack? Hard attack would go up by 145, soft attack would go up by 162, defense would go 150, breakthrough by 141, armor would go up, uh, organization would go down a bit, HP would go up. So we do have enough soft propelled artillery for this. We do have enough tanks. We do have enough command equipment. Okay, so we can do this. It's gonna cost us 25 XP. Uh, um, actually, um, I'm not sure if this is the name, so if anyone speaks Ukrainian, let me know, but I'm gonna call this Mechanizovana Armada. Um, I'm not sure what the Army Corps is in Ukrainian, and I should have looked that up, one up, but it's too late now. So let's just... Actually, let's make it, you know, nicer looking. What if we switch this one with the heavy engineers? What would be the... We would get a bit less in attack or defense or everything, but we would get a breakthrough, but more entrenchment. And we're attacking urban areas here and the mountains. Do you help us with mountains? You do. Mountain attack 2.3% and hills attack 23 And urban... Urban as well. So what is 2% from soft attack 460? That would be roughly 10. And from hard attack roughly, say, 15. Yeah, it is still better to have the tanks there. Okay, so it would be better like this. Okay, well, good luck with that. Uh, you will now get further reinforcements. Let's allow you to reorganize and then attack here. Actually, you will get a panic bonus, won't you, for this? You will. And divisions are still preparing. It's gonna take a while for you to get those reinforcements, but uh, it is going to happen. Yeah, okay, so we get the battle tanks here. We got the artillery now. Most of it are the nonas. What are you missing? Why are you still... Is this lying? 80. What are you missing? You got the, all of the IFVs. Actually, we phased out all of the old ones, so now it's just BMPs and BTRs. You have enough CNC. You have everything, so why is the game... Oh, okay, so we're missing soldiers. Okay. Actually, it's kind of interesting. Soldiers, um, a core would be 20 to, 20 to 50,000 men. So this is just manpower you are missing now. Okay, we're gonna join this attack. Okay, the Chinese threat continues to grow. That is unfortunate. But quite honestly, so does our threat. Okay, this attack is looking good. This attack is looking good. What's the... God damn it, game. God damn it. What's the air situation? Okay, they're down to 105 aircraft. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Did we butcher Sirius' 60 aircraft already? Yeah, our air superiority is just getting better. And it seems like this time we are going to maybe win this. Come on, game. Come on. 
But we need this city. I don't know if it's a supply hub or not, but... No, it's not. It has no connection to supply, so it's just a city, but that's gonna free up all of these units to move to the border. Yeah, we're doing great this time. Come on. Demolish them. Are these guys using... No, they're not using... It's just the top one. Okay, but if we can, we can knock these guys out. They're actually really dangerous, and they're entrenched. The other ones have no entrenchment bonus, so if you can remove them, they're gonna be fine. And the tank battalion is not gonna do them a whole lot of good here. So just keep on pushing. You guys and your entrenchment bonus need to die. I like how they're really under supply in here though. That is peculiar. And these tanks are also bleeding out organization like crazy. Holy hell. Are we targeting them? Or what's what's happening? Jesus, okay. It's down to these two. These guys are almost out. Come on. Come on, it's just just one unit. You can do it. Come on, knock them out. Then we got it. Oh, look at that, how it's dropping! That is amazing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, and they're the last ones. How's that air superior? 20%! Haha, <laughs> nice! The radical political shift in Eritrea. Yeah, these guys won't do much good. Come on. We can do it. We're even butchering their strength. You can see that here. Just do it. Uh, they threw in the battalion again, but as they're not entrenched and they're actually very well in supply, this is not a good situation for them. They'll keep losing this. Yeah, the tanks are gone already. This guy is dropping. I don't know why these guys aren't getting any heavy damage done to them. Yeah, they'll keep doing whatever they can to stop this. Uh, stop us from tail taking it, but it's sort of an untenable position for them. Because we just keep destroying them. 16, come on. We really need a bit more of a push here. Yeah, the tanks are coming, but they're... Damn it, this is really a bad spot for tanks. I wonder why they're getting such a such a strong defensive position while the tanks are getting hammered. Damn, they can't counter our tactic. What are you doing? Don't we have we have the initiative? So how can you be this dumb? Which actually reminds me, I wanted to check your skills. Your progress is fourteen. That's good, but you can definitely get more more traits here. Damn, this is a brutal fight. That is a brutal fight. Oh! Oh, 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 and you know what? We wanted to invest. So can we now? We can invest here, and we can invest here. Well, there's... Yeah. Yeah, we can. They got factories now. Good. So actually, let's invest in one factory here. Mm, I can't. Oh yeah, I need the money. Okay, let's let's borrow money. I mean, we can do it. It's slightly increasing our. Okay, I can only invest in. Either factories or infrastructure. Factories are more important than this point. We need to jumpstart their economy. They got two factories now. Both of them built by us. They had nothing. And we can't unfortunately build them anything else. I don't know what the limit here is per province. But hopefully it's more than one. But we can still build it. So the game wouldn't allow us, I believe, if that was a problem. Okay, the interest rate is at 1.3, that's fine. 
How's the production here? Okay, another civilian factory will be done soon. Then we're gonna build those two military and then the civilian again. Okay, show me what you got. We really need to... This, this is a... 68th Infantry Brigade. Oh, Latvia left the European Union. Well, no kidding, you are the bastards who are supporting... Oh, look at that! Only Senegal and Gambia are now supporting this this regime. That's good. Okay, most of them dropped out of it. Even... Actually, was it Latvia? Yeah, I think it was Latvia. That was supporting them. Yeah, definitely Latvia. So no one else is supporting them at this point, which is great. Just two poor nations. You're sending some small arms and you're sending some infantry weapons. Yeah. Amazing. So basically anything we destroy here is gone forever. Okay, now this is the point where we need to push. They have only two units there. So if we can destabilize them quickly enough, we might have a chance here. Jesus, this is a this is a true war zone here. I don't think we're getting any planning bones here. Yeah, they threw in the second tank division, but that's not something that should really bother us. These guys are gone now. Yeah, strength ninety one percent, and they're. We have to keep an eye on this, but I think their strength is dropping significantly. What's ours? It was 80. Okay, we're still... We're basically not getting any casualties. Do someone can pierce us? You can. Infantry Brigade. So please, no more motorized divisions. I think they're sending in one, though. Okay, you're gone. That means you're gonna attack... The heavy beating here. Look how it's dropping when they're alone. Yeah, and they send in. But now it's dropping for both of them, isn't it? Isn't it? 36.9. I don't know how the calculation goes on there. There's something happening there that I don't understand. Okay, never mind. Let's look a bit more on our own country. So, we're still building trains. That's good. Utility vehicles, 561 of those, so our truck situation is great here. Mounted ATGMs are awesome. APCs, are we... Are we short again? Hold on, let me see what we're supplying to you. APCs. Mm, we are supplying... Wait, I have to check that here. Like this, modify military aid. We are sending you BDR 70s. Do we even have those? Nope, we don't. Okay, so cancel this one. We got everything else the Spartans, the Nonas, the Recon tanks. And we no longer have the T 64s. So let's get rid of those and instead start sending you the BDR 80s. How much do we send you? 20? 30? Okay, and better tanks. Better tanks. Actually, tanks are here. Uh, so I could send you some T64s here. Or, or nothing, really. We don't have. All of them are actually on the line, so I don't think we have. Any chance of sending them more tanks anymore? But I don't think they're even using tanks, to be quite honest. Not that it would be that big of a deal. So instead, let's send them for the BTR 80s every month. Okay, our support is unyielding. And there is slow dropping. So let's hope that this is going to work. Sheikh Khalifa of the UAE suffers from stroke. 
Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Abu Dhabi, has reported to suffer from a debilitating stroke. Despite being in a stable condition, the Sheikh is reported to no longer capable of carrying out the day-to-day -day affairs of the government. The Sheikh's half-brother and crown prince Abu da of Abu Dhabi, Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, has reported to assume de facto control of the Emirati state. Mohammed bin Zayed, dubbed MBZ by Western analysts, is a relatively young leader but a nonetheless experienced one. In previous years, he has played an active role in the Emirati economic reform and served in and commanded both the Emirati Air Force and the Amir Guard, two of the UAE Armed Forces' most prestigious institutions. Okay, attack is continuing. Come on, these guys are dropping for the free. Oh, we're alone in this. <laughs> That's great. Well, guys, don't. Okay, they threw in the tank division. That's good. So they are, in the end, using a tank division here. Now it's a sort of fair fight until they threw in more units. We maybe even do well to give our own units a bit of a rest here. Okay, infantry brigade joined in. Yeah, we need to get to a point where all of their units will be knocked out. That's the... That's the... Uh, that is the final... Another five days, huh? That is the final game here. So tanks are going to leave. You are going to... Yeah, they're throwing in more units, come on. Bring it on, all of them. All of them need to come here. Okay, once we get rid of you, it's just them again. They can send in more tanks, I don't mind, but these guys need to die. Woman for the liberation of Congo has capitulated. Okay. The tanks are okay, come on, we don't, we don't care about those. More tanks, but that is good. I like how the tanks are less useful than than the infantry brigades here. That's Jesus. The tank division was just falling apart. I think that without our support, they're not getting anything. Okay, investment offer from Russia. We're gonna decline that. Scottish referendum. Scotland stays. Confronted with rising Scottish nationalism, the government of Westminster decided to give the people of Scotland their second referendum to settle this issue once and for all. The people decided to stay. Again. Oh, Scotland, what are you doing? No, they're back. <laughs> and they even got reinforced. Oh, but we're hitting them with everything we got at our disposal, so... I don't know, this is gonna take forever. I'll just leave it be for now. Let's repay a bit of our debt and check the production. Uh, we are constructing those two extra factories, which will both go to the tornado. How are we doing on the trade, really? Not good. Again with the technology models. Something is seriously wrong here. Yeah, we have a low trade influence. France has more relations, distance. Well, I know that France is closer, but Jesus Christ, Chile. That is awful. Can I hear that there's no one here that would help us with this? I mean, Brazil has two. Yeah, we could ask China, but it's kind of unrealistic too, because China is the actual biggest user of technology models. Okay, we're up to f 84, 86, come on. Twenty-three. Three point one. Still uh, not suffering any losses here. That's just amazing. Why they actually really are? They're getting 
huge amounts of losses. Okay, could this be it? Oh, oh, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Come on, game. I don't care about the tanks. They won't hold it on their own. No, they threw in another one. Okay, but... But it's gonna, it's gonna be them. If we can eliminate the rest, they will be alone. 17, come on, free point. Yeah, they're dropping. Come on, don't give up on me now. We can do this. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is... This is intense, come on. They can't keep getting away with this. Run another tank. How many tanks have we destroyed in this hell hole? If someone is living in Kaminius, just imagine like this kind of violence happening there every day. Well, actually, something like that probably happened somewhere else in Libya during the conflict. So that was really insensitive of me, but... <laughs> we almost had them! Jesus! Yeah, it's just us fighting there again. Uh, I think our units need need a break. So let's just knock out one of these. And then stop the attack. So that we can get a breather here. Get rid of that organization back. Get some reinforcements. We haven't lost almost anything. A, one tank, a couple of self-propelled artillery, some ATGMs, some men. One man pad actually. Come on, reinforce, and we're gonna send you back in. Because this has to go. Eighty percent. They're really just missing the our troops here. I'm gonna wait for them to to get that before we launch another attack because that's gonna boost their strength significantly. And while this battle is annoying as hell, it really means only the fact that we're depleting their resources, and our units can do it almost on their own. Okay, ninety percent now. Yeah, look at that. Strength went up. Significant. We need more, more men here, though. That was really what we were missing here: a bit of a bonus and a bit of a strength here. Uh, I hate this. War is hell. But let it not be said that the Ukrainians have shied away from fight. Nope, Russia, I know that you would like to invest in my territory, but I'm not gonna allow you to do that. Ever. Ever again. I mean, not until you retreat... Uh, re return, not retreat. Not until you return Crimea to us. No divisions in basic training. Why do we need more... Reinforcements here to operate that equipment. Ha! There we go. Okay, now we are at full strength. Wait, aren't we? I don't know. The game doesn't seem to realize what it or you know seem to understand what it wants. So let's just join in the fight again. No one can pierce us, and our strength is now even higher. Okay, we got commercial manufacturing. So wait, 3D printing has been... Damn, that's annoying. Uh, commercial manufacturing. 3D printing has been extremely limited in the commercial space. Expanding 3D printing capabilities to include this form will significantly help our abilities to move forward. So we're getting additional military and naval yard output of 10%, production efficiency base increased by 3 and retention by 7.5%.
amazing. Now, what do we want to do next? That is the question, because we're actually slowly bypassing and we can think about going forward. So I think I'm going to go modern computing next, which is going to give us a boost of 5% into research. And I would like to have my hopes up, but I don't think this is going to happen. Game. <gasps> we got them! Oh, that's amazing! We actually managed to... To capture the territory. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay. They're reinforcing there, which means that we can do this then. And launch an attack towards... I don't know, this, this promise doesn't have a name. But we can launch an attack there. I think we can actually do it immediately. Wait, why are you attacking there? That's that's down. I didn't mean to do that. I think that the game is confused why we want to attack. Stop, stop, stop. That's not what I wanted to do because that is an attack into a hellhole. That's exactly the opposite of what we should be doing here. We need to encircle them and demolish them and if we can capture the provinces around here and if our friends are going to help and we can actually push here and circling this port though there is probably a sea lane but it could mean that they won't be able to supply efficiently enough so encircling that and starving them would give them a huge attrition and encirclement penalties so while our army corps is going to push these revolutionary guard corps, yeah, they're already suffering from supply. While we are at 99% strength, what's our... Dang it, this... This is nice. So good luck to you paratroopers. And... After we push you away, we're gonna launch an attack here and try to encircle you. Is that going to happen? Okay, it is. We're actually being attacked, but that is fine. And I am going to push... Oh! The National Transitional Council asked for a debt bailout. National Transitional Council of Libya's debt problem has gotten so bad they realistically have no chance of either paying it down or even meeting running interest payments. With the real possibility of bankrupt, it was under desperate circumstances that Libyan leader Yusuf al-Rahmani has traveled to Ukraine to plead for Mikola Borisov's help. The National Transitional Council is asking us to handle a debt proportion... 18 billion? Really? <laughs> 18 billion? By paying two thirds of it and forgiving the rest. If we do it, it would calm the other international lenders, reducing drastically National Transitional Council of Libya's lending cost, making their margin debt manageable. Though we will lose money from doing this, they will seriously be out, uh, be, they will seriously be in our debt with our influence over them increasing significantly. So we pay 12 billion and get 15% influence. Definitely. You, you know, guys, we're in this for the long run. We've already sent you material costing billions and tens of billions, actually. So this is nothing really for us. Uh, military aid. One-time shipment of guns or other equipment. No, we're going to increase influence, though, slightly here. Okay. And let's see if we can encircle them this way, because that could allow us to get the get them encircled completely. But I'll have to be, again, very careful about losing uh, the bridge here for supplies, because if we get um, disconnected, this is over. The entire army would fall. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, we have made a major military advance in this episode, and in the next one, we're going to try to, well, capitalize on that, I guess, is the the way to say it. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. We are with you. We will never abandon you, as the other states have. <laughs> Only Poland is supporting Gaddafi now. 
Shame on you, Power and 